How are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you go to school today? No. Oh, I forgot. It's the holiday today, right? Okay. So last uh, last meeting, I think that was Saturday. Wait, oh, yeah. I close my line. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, so last time we read different poems, right? Different mm -hmm. poems about what kind of creatures? So we read poetry about what kind of dog, living dog and monkey. Okay, dogs. And eagle and rats. Yes, and what kind of monkey? What do we call it? Chimpanzee. Yes, so later we are going to, to talk about these poems one by one and tell what kind of poem. So now we are on genre, okay? Uh, when we say genre, what does it mean? I don't know. When we say genre, these are the kinds, the kinds of poetry, okay? It's like a category. Hold on, let me show you what genre means. Okay, genre. How do you say it again? Can you say genre? Genre. Yes, other people would say, especially kids, they would say genre or, or genre, but it's genre. Okay, genre. And uh, let me show you the, the meaning. So when we say genre, it is a class or category, a group or kinds. And now we are going to talk about poetry because poetry is a genre in literature. When we say literature, these are written materials and they include poetry, uh, poems, novels, short stories, many more. Now we are going to talk about poetry. And can you read what kind of poetry we are going to talk about? Hockey, haiki, haiku. Yes, what kind of uh, poetry is this? Lyric poetry. Yes, what is lyric poetry? Express the, the Expresses. Thoughts, ex, ex, expresses the thoughts and feelings of po, po, poet. Po, poet. Poet. Yes, poet. Often has n rhymes and consistent meter. Yes, wow, very good. I like your voice today. You are not in a hurry, right? Okay, so you always do that. And pretty soon you'll become a storyteller. One day, who knows? Now, what is a haiku? Uses three short lines to describe sense Seen. or a moment. Has a verse and last line of five syllables in the second line of seven syllables. Very good. How do you say it again? Sings. Um, this this word. Sings. Seen. Seen. Say it again. Seen. Seen. Yes. Where, where do you find the word seen? Seen. Do you know what seen means? No. Seen. seen. Yes. Seen is something that we view. Seen. Uh, just like a place. It is a place where an incident in real life or fiction occurs or occurred. Okay, so um, other words for seen are, can you read? 
Location. Location. What else? Site. Place. Position. Point. Spot. Local. Yes, the locale. Very good. So here. So we have the lyric poetry and haiku. Now let's look at the poems that that belong to a category. So let's find text evidence. Can you read the eagle? The eagle is a lyric poem. Eagle is the how the poem feels about the eagle. It also has in rhymes and cons. Consistent, consistent, consistent meter. Dog is a haiku big because the line have the five seven five syllable count. Okay, good. Now let's look at eagle. So let's see. So how does the poet this? How does the poet feel about the eagle? Let us read. Collapse the crack with crook hands. Lost to the sun loaning lands. Ring with azure world he stands. The wrinkles see beneath him cross. He watches from watches. his mountain wall. He watches. Watches. Watch, see, watches from his mountain walls. And like a thunderbolt, he falls. Okay. So looking at this second stanza of the eagle, we can find the words that tell us how the author feels about the eagle. So let's read it again. Let's read it again. The wrinkle seen beneath, when, beneath him crossed. He watched from his mountain watches. wall. He watches. He watches from his mountain walls. And like a thunderbolt, he falls. Okay. So now, how does the poet feel about the eagle? Yeah, sad. Sad, like the wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. He watches from his mountain walls. The author feels sad for the eagle? No. Mm -hmm. Fine. You Fine. imagine, let us imagine what's happening here. The wrinkled sea. Why, why wrinkled? Wrinkled sea. Why do they uh, describe the sea as wrinkled? Do you know what is wrinkled? Wrinkled are the lines, like, like my wrinkles. Look at me. I have lines on my face. These are wrinkles. Okay. So wrinkled sea. Uh -huh. How do you describe a wrinkled sea? A wrinkle sea. Uh huh. Wrinkled. What are wrinkles? They are lines. Okay, so wrinkled sea. Beneath him. So wrinkled sea beneath. So remember beneath, okay? Do you know what beneath means? Mm -hmm. Okay, beneath him crawls. So who is beneath? And who is above, right? The sea is beneath him. And what is above the sea? Mountain. Mountain. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. Who is him? The eagle. Okay, so let us put the eagle here. Do you know how to draw a, a small eagle? Can you place it? somewhere in the whiteboard i can but you, uh, <laughs> i 
Okay, let us try. I it. want a picture. I I can draw a picture. Okay, I I know you can. Wait, uh, just to show where the eagle is. So maybe we can put the eagle here. No, that's not the eagle. Okay, that's this, funny. Okay, this is not an. I eagle. know how to draw eagle. Okay, can you? That's why I uh -huh. ask you, because my eagle is a little bit bad. Can you can you make a small eagle on top? Um, wait. I need some black. Okay, I think that is better. So, uh, so beneath the eagle is the sea. So wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. So what crawls? So uh, what crawls? The sea or the eagle? Eagle. The the sea or the eagle? So what do you mean by crawls? The sea. Yes, so it moves downwards, right? Crawls. It creeps. Now. So and uh, and then the second line. He watches from his mountain walls. How do you uh, how do you imagine this? Who watches from mountain walls? Eagle watches. Yes. So. Can you can you draw the mountain walls? No, you can't. Uh, let us let us uh, imagine the mountain walls. Okay, the mountain walls. So he watches from his mountain walls, and the last line is: Can you read? And like her. Huh? Mm. Can you read this with feeling? Like this line? And like a thunderbolt, he flows. Is that how you read it with feeling? <laughs> thunderbolt. How, how do you read that line with the feeling? And like a thunderbolt, he flows. Okay, that's good. And like a thunderbolt, he falls, right? So what does this stanza tell about how the poet feels uh, the eagle or how the poet feels about the eagle? Is the eagle sad? You said the eagle is sad, but I, I, don't, I don't agree that the eagle is sad. What no, kind of I said the... Illustrator. Uh, the poet is the one sad. Hmm? He died. He died? The eagle died? Mm -hmm. oh, are you sure the eagle died? Look at the picture. 
But a lion on the ball, he falls. He, who's he? The eagle. Yes, he falls like a thunderbolt. And why does he fall? So the wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. He watches from his mountain walls. So he is up the mountain, right? How oh, are you going to catch fish? Yes, exactly. So how does he do it? Why? What does that mean? And like, like a this. thunderbolt. Like this. What a thunderbolt is like this. It's like, wait, wait, wait. Is that how? No. <laughs> Thund thunderbolt. Okay, he do it. He does it. He does it. Uh, how, what's that? How do you say that in words? Quickly, do down quickly. Yes, good. So, and because of that, so the way the author said it, how does he feel about the eagle as a creature? Does the author feel that the eagle is is weak, is uh, lovely, is strong? What kind of creatures? Creature is the eagle. Fine. Fine. What else? Wrong. Yes. Uh, what else? What? What? When the uh, when the eagle looks at the uh, at what is down. Angry. Angry. Like. <laughs> okay. What else? Uh, do you agree with the author here? Can you read from this? From this, I can infer that the poet feels the eagle is a regal and noble, and noble creature. Yes. So, do you know what regal and noble is? No. Oh, regal is. Wait, I'll show you uh, something regal, and tell me uh, what you, what you, how do you describe it? Okay, hold on. Okay. So, regal, oh. the regal and noble creature. So that's what I found when I regal, regal. It is a regal. Yes, regal. Uh, that that means like a like a king or like a like something someone who is really uh, very high and very respected, dignified. So they describe they describe the. The eagle as it's about noble. Yes, noble is the same. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, noble? There's no noble. Show no. me. Uh, dignified. So dignified. Regal. Let me let me show you about noble. I think they are similar. Like a noble birth, it means you are born from a king. Okay, look, good, honest, virtuous, aristocratic. So they are related, high class. Okay, so that's what we mean by regal and noble. Okay, what, why is the eagle compared to a regal and a noble creature? Because he's strong, yeah. Yes, good. And what else? Strong and what is another word for strong? It starts with healthy. Uh huh. Strong, healthy. What else? Hmm. E. It starts with letter P. Just like a king. 
Super. Mm, o. Powerful. W. Powerful. Very good. See? So the, the eagle is a regal and noble creature. So that's what that's what uh, the author felt about the eagle. Now let's uh, let's see the form the poem rat and uh, explain what form the poem is and give evidence. So what is uh, the rat? I think uh, we saw it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at uh, the poem rat. Okay, rat. Oh, it's too big. I'll make it uh, smaller. Now, what kind of poem is rat? So we are, um, we are talking about lyric and haiku. So what kind of poem is rat? Is it lyric poem or a haiku? Haiku. Okay. Why do you say it's haiku? Because they have five symbols like this. Three. One is T, two is oh, F. I so uh, one syllable, teeth, yes, right? And then? Like. Two. Uh, ah, ja. Three. Four. What is the fourth syllable? Hammer. Hammer, there are two in hammers. So one. Hen, hen, hen and mers. Okay, so fourth syllable is ham and then, okay, good. What about two? How many syllables in line two? One, two. What is, what is the first syllable? Well, I, two, two, con. Create for fun. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right, seven. And number or third line. Bring the outdoors in. Okay, seven. So it's really a haiku, right? Okay. Yeah, so uh, can you define what a haiku is? Mm -hmm. What is a haiku? A haiku has five syllable and seven syllable and five syllable and seven syllable and five syllable and seven syllable. It's like a broken record. Okay, what uh, a haiku is a poem with how many lines? Three lines. With three lines, with the what pattern? Five, seven, five. Yes, five, seven, five syllable pattern. Okay, good. So let us uh, go to our next question. So you know what haiku is. Maybe you can make your own haiku. No. Think, think of something about a haiku. Now, let's look at point of view. What is point of view? When an author uses pronouns such as pronouns, I, me, pronouns. or my, pronouns, the task is told for, from the first person point of view, the reader see events Cease. through the eyes of Cease the events. narrator. Narrator. Events. Narrator. When pronouns. Pronouns. Pronouns such as he, him, and his are used, the point of view is third person. Okay, so. So whenever we use this, what what point of view are we using? First person. 
Yes. And what about when we use he, him, and third his? person? Third person point of view. Okay. Next, let's uh, talk about the poem about animals. In some, okay, all of the poems are, are about animals, but in some, the animals are the narrators in the poem. So let us reread chimpanzee on page 152 to figure out which point of view of the poem is told from. Let us read again. That's too many. It's not, see? Chimpanzee. You start now. Chimpanzee. From branch to branch and outstretched arms. From tree to ground a leaf. When I want to eat a snack, I see a stick in turmeric heaps. Use my teeth to rip off leaf and make the branch all bare. Then find the hole the boss come out, patiently wait there. My skinny branch becomes a bridge as a brittle boss climb up the steep. I pick them up one, one by one and crunch them like potato chips, potato yes. chips. Potato chips. Okay, so it is, what point, point of view is used for chimpanzee? One. It is first or third? First. Okay, first person point of view. And we can see it here, right? Now, let's talk about the eagle again. So listen, or look for details that shows the point of view of the eagle. So look at uh, the eagle and what third, point of view is used? Third, what third clue, person. What clue did you get? Third person. Uh -huh. How did you know it's third person? Guessing. Just guessing. Because of the pronouns. What pronouns did were used? In the first person, uh, we he, use... He, she, yes. he. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a fast. So he, he used he. What else? What else mm. are your clues? These are subjects, right? What about the other pronouns here? Like, yes. Yes, the possessive pronouns. And what else? I. I? Is there an I there? He, 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 Pronoun, there's still another you missed. One more pronoun. It is, it is in the objective form. It is an object of a preposition. Wrinkle? Oh, no. We are talking about pronouns, remember? So he. And then uh, this is... Thunderbolt, the... like, like, like. No. What is the objective form of he? he? This one is possessive form, right? Like his. And then this is in the subject, subjective form. The objective form of, uh, of uh, he. 
It is here. It is here. Him. Yes. You, you, you forgot about it. So him. Oh, there is it. Yes. Okay. So it is in the third person. Now let's uh, look at the other questions. By the way, what, what does crag mean? The eagle clasps the crag with his crooked arms or hands. What is a crag? Crag. It is a steep or rugged stone or cliff or rock face. So that is the crag. That is what the, that is, okay, this one. This is where the eagle is, crag. Where, where, where? Oh, 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 you don't see it yet. Okay, now you can see it. Do you see it now? No. Not yet? Yes. No, you don't, you I don't, don't see, think so. You don't see the rocks? Okay, I'll show it again. Now, the screen. I cannot see the rocks on the second page. Now, what do you see on your screen? Uh, a people. Mm. People? Oh. A rock like a people. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Now. Like this. Oh, where? Okay. How about this? Do you see it? What's that? A little like an eagle ant. Where? You don't Here, see it? climbing at uh, this? Down. This? Down. There, there's a cat. Here? Here's a uh, egg, eagle egg. Oh, eagle egg. Where is it? There is it. This? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this not a? Uh, this is not an egg. I think this is a, a a person climbing. So these are crag. This is where an eagle would stand up. Okay, stand on. And now let's look at the, at the, uh, hold on. Let's look at the meter and rhyme. What is meter? Meter is a rhyme of rhythm. syllable, rhythm. a line of rhythm, of po poetry. It is created by the- Created. Created by the arrangement of ascended and unscented syllables, words rhyme when they're on ending. ending sound the same. Yes, last time uh, I think in our last class we talked about meter and and the accented and unaccented syllables. Accented means stressed. Right? And unaccented are unstressed. Okay, now uh, we even counted, right? We even identified the, the unaccented and accented syllable with the symbol slash and uh, breathe. Sentence. Remember the slash? And sentence. Yes, and the breathe like this. And okay. When it is accented, it is symbolized by the slash. Uh, you even showed me the slash in your keyboard, right? And for unstressed, the breathe. It's like half of a circle. Now, let's look at uh, eagle and look at the rhymes and the rhythm of the meter. Okay, so oh. there, let us look at uh, eagle here. So let's just use this small page. No, now, not first, a small page. 
this is small uh, version. Do you see it? Okay. Now let's look at the rhymes. What are the rhymes in this poem? What words rhyme? And then stands. Cross was falls. Okay, so they are, they all rhyme. So I, okay, so how how is the the rhyme rhyme pattern? So for example, A and D as A and D as A and D as A, and then A W L S A. It is also A, a right? L L S. So no, it's A and D as. No, what I mean is the the rhyme pattern. So when we when line one rhymes with line two, so line one is A, and if line two rhymes with A, it's also A, and if line three rhymes with A, it's also A. So A A A. A A. Yes. So these are A A A. Okay, hold on. So the, the rhyme scheme is A, A, A. Okay, now what about the meter? Let's talk about the accented and unaccented syllables. I, I know, I think you know which is accented and unaccented syllables. Okay, let's see. What words are, are accented here? Is he accented? Only accented. Accented is stressed. So can you can you read this? Uh, can you read this line so that I know what is the what is the uh, meter? Sorry, what is the meter? Can you read this? He clasps the crack with the crook hands. Okay, how do you how do you say this? How many syllables is this word? Two. Two. Crooked, right? So crooked, which is stress, crook or ed? Ed. Crooked? With crooked? <laughs> no, crook. Okay, crooked. And then ed is not accented. What about hands? How do you say hands? Hands. Okay, accented. So do you see the pattern? Unaccented, accented, unaccented, accented, unaccented, accented, right? So how do you read it now? He collapsed the <laughs> You did it opposite. Accented is the slash, remember? He Clap is you, he you, clap. You accented he. So how do you say it? He clasps the crag with crooked hands, right? So can you say it again? He he clasps the crag with crook. Oh no. With crooked hands. Crooked hands. Yes, yeah, so he clasps the crag with crooked hands. So so they uh, we accent the important words like clasps, crags, crook, and then hands. So he clasped the crag with crooked hands. So there's a pattern, right? So he clasps the crag with crooked hands. Instead of he clasps the crag with crooked hands. So, so that's the opposite, <laughs> right? So that's how we that's how important knowing the meter of a line in a poetry, even in sentences. We have to know which one should be stressed. What about a second line? Let us identify the the rhyme, no, the meter. So close to the the sun 
lonely land. So, syllable, unsyllable. How do you accent this? This is close accented. Stretch, unstretch. Okay, so un uh, stressed, unstressed. Stress, unstressed. What about the? Is it stressed? Stressed. Stress. How about uh, sun? Unstressed. Unstressed. How about in? Stressed. Lonely. Unstressed. So unstressed is lone and then Lee is stressed. Uh -huh. And about land. Lonely. Land. Stress. Stressed. So how do you say it? Close. Close to the sun in lonely <laughs> land. <laughs> that, I think is, that, that. is it correct? <laughs> Close to the sun in lonely lands. No, uh, I make it. Let's okay. How do we how do we uh, identify what meter? Uh, on stretch, stretch, on stretch, stretch, on stretch, stretch, on stretch, stretch. Stretch. So, how do you see it now? Close to the sun in lonely, lonely land. Yes, that's better. Close to the sun in lonely lands. Close to the sun. Close to the sun in lonely lands. Say it again. Close to the sun in lonely lands. Yes. Okay, third line. Um, stretch, unstretch. Stretch, unstretch. Uh, this one is two syllables. Okay, Azure. Unstretch, stretch, no, stretch, stretch. First. Is this how you, okay. So ringed is stressed, like ringed. No, 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 no. Unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed. Okay, hold on. Ringed, ringed is unstressed or unaccented. And then with mm -hmm. is accented. Accented and then with is unaccented or unstressed. And uh, uh, Azure is Azure. And then world is stressed. And he is unstressed. And stands is stressed. Now, how do you read it? Green to green with the other world he stands. Okay, so when you say ring, it's not stressed, right? Ringed with, ringed with, because with is stress. Ringed with the azure world he stands. Ringed with the azure world he stands. Stress on stress. Okay, now let's uh, let's read the first three lines. Okay, once we perfect this, we are going to get this correctly. Okay, can you read this first? The grass will crook hands. Crooked Close with crooked. This is crooked. Um, this is crooked. Uh -oh. Yes. Clasp the grass with crooked hands. Flow to the sun, lonely lands. Ring with the azure. Moral his hand. Yes, that's good. <clears throat> nice. There's a certain pattern, right? He clasped. Oh, I want to do. Nice. Mm, nice. Yes. 
Okay, he clasped the crag with crooked hands, close to the sun in lonely lands, ringed with the azure world he stands. Ring with the azure world, 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 world he stands. And next line. Wrinkle, no wrinkle. Okay, the is accented or not? Not. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. The is accented? No. Okay. Stretch. Oh. On stretch. Oh, hold stretch. on. Hold on. The. On the. Stretch. Is it stressed or unstressed? The. On stretch, stretch. On stretch, stretch. On stretch, stretch. On stretch, stretch. Oh. The, oh, no, wrinkle, the wrinkle, the see beneath him cross. He watches from his mountain walls and like a vulnerable uh, <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I have a bird. <laughs> yes, you you bird. Okay, so uh, let's read it now. The second uh, stanza again. The wrinkle sea beneath him cross. He watches from his he mountain watches. walls. He watches. He watches from his mountain walls. And like a thunderbolt, he falls. Yes, very good. So, did you see the pattern? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right? Uh-uh. There is a, a pattern. When we mm. say pattern, it's mm -hmm. regular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Accented, unaccented, accented, and accented. Okay, now let's if like that, if we, we will sing like this. I will erase mm -hmm. the markings. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now you read it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, may I present from no. Hainan? Okay, our poet Albert. No, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> you read it now. He claps. Okay, the the the, he claps. the title first. The eagle. The, the no, it's the a, eagle. No, you should read it because it has a meaning, right? The eagle is regal. The eagle. Yes, the, the eagle. He claps. Eagle. He claps the crown. Oh, it's the claps. Hands. Clasps. Clasps. Oh, he claps, clasps, he clasps, he clasps the crowd with crooked hand, close to the sun in lonely lands, ring with azure world. He stands. What world? The wrinkled sea. What world? <laughs> okay. The wrinkled sea beneath him cross. He watches from his. He watches. Room. Remember, he watches. Uh oh, he watches from his mountain walls and like a thunder, thunderbolt, bolt. He falls. He falls. Yes, you know uh, when we were young, we would memorize these poems and we will co go to the front and recite it without looking at copy. What about you? Can you memorize this poem? Okay, he claps. <laughs> The crab will go get him. Uh, 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 uh. You know, first the rat, the rat, the rat first. The rat is too, is too short. Well, do you want to memorize it and then you, the you, you recite it without looking? Perhaps mm -hmm. next meeting, tomorrow? I will also memorize it, you know. I will not look at copy. And then I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> okay, mm. so I'll see you tomorrow and we will recite yeah. it. I, I said, I said, I said, uh -huh. puzzle. What oh. do you say? Oh, it's 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 time it's tomorrow. We'll continue. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, no, 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 what now? We'll now, see. now, now. We'll see. You will see me at four o'clock tomorrow. That's too early. 
<laughs> okay, I'll see you at uh, before five, maybe four fifty-five. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.